Look at that big 80 there. There's about 10 yards off the, off the stream. The same at the far side. This river's really... The fishery's dilapidated. It's all the boardwalks and everything's all torn up there. Melton pool, by the way, is what everybody used to call it, and that's down there. It's called Watts Pool now, for some odd reason. As I remember it anyway, when I was a young lad, it was called Remelton Pool. I don't know if you're allowed in here, but I'm here anyway. I see no trespassing signs anywhere, so I mean to say, I see that there is no, no trespassing signs anywhere. Private fishery. Old boardwalks are all cracked and broken and that there was the most famous pool, as I say, in Ireland. You want to see that there with spring fish and grills in the summertime. And it always opened on the 1st of January. Then they closed it for a long, long time, which destroyed it actually. The worst thing you can do is close the river. Catch and release, yeah, maybe. It'll lose a few customers and a few uh, anglers from local clubs. But it'll never kill the river, if you know what I mean. Closing the rivers, just leaving it wide open. Not too many tracks at the very bottom of the pool. A few there right now. Must be an old railway bridge or old bridge of some sort, I don't know. That there would be an ideal spot there for a throw there, I know that. Because there's a big fall, another weir just like that there, just down below that. Down below these stiles, or not stiles, but them pylons. Beautiful area and right in the heart of Donegal. And that there was always top favourite there for getting the first fish off the year, 1st of January, in the whole of Ireland. And just a wee added sort of bit of info. This place here was actually robbed one night by masked men it actually came way back in the start of the troubles even though there's very little trouble down here in Donegal but they come down and they held the bailiffs hostage if you know what I mean and they went down then and cleaned that pool out and they must have took a full lorry load of salmon out at the time that was big news at the time I think that was way back in the say, late 70s it was the talk of the town anyway Anyway, we're going to head up to the van again and head on down to Milford. In fact, beyond Milford, Downings. Okay, we're heading back up again. Very, very spooky. The joys of travelling on your own.
what springs to mind here in my mind is scrap there's more scrap but uh, I have to unfortunately I have to drive it all the way to do a bit of work today so cherry over melting talk later look at that wood there's some activities went on there in years gone by believe you me look at the power of that water power of it <laughs> 